Welcome to Intune Training with Jake, Johannes, and Sean. Hey, everyone. Hey, guys. Okay, let's get going, guys. So I think today we said we were going to talk about creating an Azure app registration. Yes. That's yeah, we said that the other day when we recorded that video that we didn't just totally <laughs> record a little while ago, right? Really? Um, we're all meeting again, separate time. Awesome. In the same clothes. <laughs> yes. With Oh, definitely not that view. There we go. Awesome. So, uh, Johanna, Sean, what do you want to walk me through how to actually create this thing? Yes. Sure. Uh, you're going to create an app registration, which is basically a service account in, Act in Azure Active Directory. So let's start by clicking on Azure Active Directory. Seems like obviously for no, we are at portal.azure.com. Okay, and then you have app registrations there in the middle on the on the left. Not enterprise applications. That's a different story for a different video. <laughs> awesome, I'm here. Looks like I already have one actually. So I think yep. we're gonna want a new one, yeah. Yep. There we go. Give, uh, give it a name, I guess. Um, ben is a wiggle. Ben is that's, uh, that's appropriate. Yeah. Yep. I think so, uh, our account types. I think the default's gonna work just fine for us here, right? Yep. We're just yeah. a single yeah. tenant. We're not connecting to anything else. Uh, we don't really care about our redirect URI either. Nope. Correct. So we'll hit register there. Okay, cool. We created it. We're done, right? Yep, that's it. Ben is a wiggle. That's, that's, yeah. Well, that well, just like any other service account in Active Directory or anywhere else, it needs to be given permissions. So let's click on the API permissions tab on the left. Got it. And then you can click on add a permission. I see it's already got a permission it. too, yeah. or at least for user yeah. read. But so no, that's added. added by default. Mm hmm so we can keep it there. We can take it away. But let's so, see what we decide to give this one. I'm going to guess we want to grab this guy right here. Yep. Is that right? Is this not Azure DevOps 101? Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, yes, we're definitely going to want the graph or Microsoft graph option here. Um, but is it a delegated or an application permission in this particular case? In this case, we're using a delegated permissions. Awesome. There are multiple ways, obviously, that we can create this. We'll and multiple use case, here. multiple different use cases for these two, and we can touch on that in a later video because this is quite a subject to cover, to be quite honest. Yeah, it's most likely going to be multiple videos, but for now, we're just going to do something really simple. I think yeah. we want to just create a user, um, so we're going to need some user permissions. Um, we'll that see if search is a good idea for us. Search does not like me. We'll scroll down a little bit. So we obviously already have user read by default, like we had talked about earlier. Um, but we also need read write if we want to be able to actually create or modify or delete in this case um, any users or anything like that. Um, anything else we need, or is that it to start? That should be good to start. Awesome. I'll hit add permissions. Now we're done, right? Nothing else needs to happen. Um, or do we need to grant admin no, consent too? We, we should grant admin consent. Grant admin consent. So it might be, make... I think, an important step. Yeah. Yes. So, we'll so notice. Just, I'll go ahead, Sean. I was going to say, yeah, if anybody has ever signed into something and you get that box from Microsoft Azure that says, hey, you know, grant access for this application. That's essentially what this is doing, and that's going to grant it at the tenant level, so that not everyone user, or not every user logging into this sees that message. Awesome. So we'll go ahead and do that, and we'll hit yes. Now, bear in mind there seconds. is a whole like permission level that you need in order to even grant that admin consent as well. Um, but in this case, we have that access, and we did grant that app permission now. And after that, now we're actually pretty much done. The only thing that we really need to worry about is in the overview section. And we're going to want to make sure that we copy this application client ID value. And then we can go back to that PowerShell script that we had talked about in the previous episode and plug in some of that information. In a way, you can think of the application ID as the service account's username. 
Yep. As yeah. As odd as that is, it is the it is the most precise way to reference an app registration. Yeah. And um, oh, go ahead, John. Oh, I was going to say just to kind of build off that, we'll talk a little bit more in a future video about the, the other ways that you can authenticate. Um, what we're going to use first is we're going to just talk about essentially device code, which is almost like using passwordless authentication with a ser service account. Um, but then there's other ways to create a secret, which would be like a password or even upload a certificate, um, depending on your your use case. Yeah. And I think that'll cover it for this episode, unless anyone else has anything. Short and sweet. No, no we're, we're getting good at the short and sweet. Yeah. Part. <laughs> we're getting there, slow and steady. But awesome. Uh, obviously, any comments, questions, concerns, leave them down below. We'll answer any questions you've got. With that, have a great rest of the day. Thanks, everyone. Bye.